welcome back to Apple Tree Allotment. Down here in the evening this week. Um, been down every other day watering, um, and we've got a few jobs to do tonight. Brought one of the kids down to help me. Um, so obviously we're going to have a good water tonight. It's been warm again today, so get lots of watering done. Um, but I also brought down um, some things I've been growing at home. So I've got these beans. So I've got these, um, they're just green bush beans. So I'm going to fill them in um, maybe around the uh, pumpkins that we sowed. Um, maybe in, in between them, somewhere like that. Um, and I'm also going to plant um, some courgettes. So at home, so I've already planted some courgettes here and at home. Um, and I've got quite a few plants left. So I thought what I would do is find some holes, maybe in amongst some of the potatoes that haven't grown up. Um, I mean, they're not, if they get eaten or whatever, it's not, not a waste. So um, I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll find a little hole for them. Um, and I also brought down, I've got about eight um, butternut squash plants and they're obviously starting to get a bit bigger now. So I brought down two of them and I'm gonna plant them out in the bed over there um, and I'm probably going to plant four in there in the end but I'm just going to plant two out tonight and then see how they get on um, and I'll bring the other two down in a week probably um, but yeah I thought I'd get start getting them out see how they get on I've got more if I need to fill in the holes um, at some point when other things come out from the other side so the garlic and onions and raw beans hopefully I'll be able to keep them going in bigger pots until I can plant them out over there and we can get some going over there as well. So that's the plan for tonight. So I think first up we'll probably start planting the beans. Um, we've also been harvesting strawberries, quite a few strawberries from these plants the last few days. So um, little ones just been doing that. Um, and I can see quite a few more that are nearly there. So that's great. Um, yep, so we'll do a bit more of that before we go as well. So I've got 10 of these bean plants. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in, there's a little bit of a gap in the middle of the beans here. So I'm gonna put three or four there, maybe one over the back corner there with all the other beans, um, fill that bed out. And then I'll put, um, in the bed we've got pumpkin seeds. I might put maybe two in each bed or something, two or three in each side. Um, I don't, obviously they bush up when they get going, but that'll probably be quite a few weeks yet. Probably um, a couple of months until they're too brushy for the beans. So um, yeah, we'll see. I've got all the beans in. So next up is these butternut squash plants. Um, so in the new bed I made a few weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Um, I'm just gonna put two this end with the view to put another couple at the other end. Um, they normally need to be about just under a metre apart and they're a bit closer than that but they have got a big bed um, so hopefully they'll be okay but yeah we'll see how they get on put them in tonight and get, give them a good water and then uh, see how they fare. Um, I do have some spares so not the end of the world if they don't do okay. We've put the two butternut squash plants in um, I haven't got netting, the wire netting I usually use to go round. So we've just improvised with this um, mesh stuff. Um, it's a bit tricky to work with, so I need to find a better way to sort of hang it up. Um, I did try cable tying it up, but it doesn't really work. Um, so I'll come up with a solution for that another day. Maybe put some bits of wood across lower. Um, I've got some quite thin wood that could just make a sort of top bit for it. But for now, that all uh, should keep the birds or rabbits or whatever off. Um, hopefully they'll survive okay. I've had a good look around the, the plot or what space we've got. And I've decided to put these two courgette plants in this um, onion bed. Um, so it's got red onions in that end. And these three elephant garlic up here. Um, so these should be coming out in the next probably three weeks, two, three weeks. Um, so hopefully, I mean, these plants are fairly small. So um, they're a lot smaller than the ones I've got at home and over, over the other side. 
So hopefully by the time they get any size, we will have harvested anyway. Um, and I was thinking this bed, I initially thought either to put leeks in it, overspill from the other bed or um, pumpkins or squash. Um, so if I put these in and they do okay, I could fill this bed up with another two or three um, squash or pumpkin plants um, once these onions are out. Um, and we'll see how they get on. It's just somewhere. There's a few gaps in here where some of the onions didn't make it. So uh, hopefully they'll do something. Um, if not, we've got plenty of leeks to go in here or um, some of the plants I've got at home. So uh, worth a go. I just want to sort of use this space and think about what's going to go in after the uh, the onions and garlic come out. Don't really want to sort of empty all these empty beds halfway through the season. So, uh, yep. So I'm just going to put these two plants in um, and then we've got one more job to do put in some netting over the kids peas um, yeah it's quite hard to see but we've just put a little bit more of that netting over the pea shoots bed um, just to try and keep the birds and rabbits off um, so far we haven't had any nibbled, I don't think, but uh, better to be safe than sorry, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we'll just put it on some bricks just so we can take it off and harvest pea shoots as they come up to go with our salads. So that's all done. So all's left now. Let's do some watering. Um, two plots to do. Normally takes us about half an hour to water. So we'll just have a little wander around and water the plot supposed to be quite hot the next couple of days so I was going to give it a fairly decent water really um, just having a little wander around to see how everything else is doing um, all the leeks doing really well need to spread some more of these out soon so I'll um, spread some more of these out further down this bed and uh, probably going to need some other beds to put them in as well um, so we'll find some holes as other things come out um, and the lettuce is doing very well I've harvested some more of that to take home tonight we've been having that pretty much every night this week so that's really good over here onions are doing okay definitely pretty much there now ready to come out um, and we've got the new courgette plants in there hopefully they'll do okay in here and um, as they grow the They'll have space once I pulled the onions out. And the elephant garlic, I had a little berry down the other night. And there's some nice little bulbs on there. They're not they're not massive, but they're uh, there's some nice little bulbs. So that's good. Um, the rest of the garlic still looking pretty similar. I was watching someone's vlog the other day that said they normally harvest about um, the solstice, so about 21st of June. So I'll probably do that about then another couple of weeks two three weeks um, broad beans lots and lots of flowers still still forming so that's that's good um, nice to see them on there and a few beans starting to appear so looking forward to starting to harvest them there's quite a few on this one here Got a few little ones down here that's pretty cool I don't know how big the beans will be on these actually because they are dwarf plants so they're, they're very very small but uh yeah we'll see peas are looking good some flowers on some of them um climbing up nicely now um, after i tied them back last week yep they're looking good no pods yet i don't think it's a little bit earlier yet i think but yeah happy with those and the uh Potatoes over here, all looking pretty good. Lots of nice main crop potatoes. All looking pretty good over here. Um, hopefully, it's quite a few weeks still. I think, I think it's probably still another month or or more before we start harvesting. Over on plot one. Strawberries looking really good. Lots of nice strawberries on here. 
and we've been getting sort of almost a punnet full every night from home as well from the front garden so that's nice to be eating them fresh every day pumpkin bed there's no sign yet of any pumpkins still only been about a week isn't it um but i put those bean plants in tonight so i've got two in that one three in that one so hopefully they'll push up nicely between the the pumpkins charred bed it's coming on strong now it's four nice rows some nice seedlings and um, again these will need spreading out i imagine at some point but hopefully there'll be some empty beds to put them in by the time that's needed got two new butternut squash plants in so the plot is almost full now just got that little space at this end so maybe next week I'll put the other two in. Um, and then we're pretty much full then, I think, until we start to harvest more stuff. Um, oh, rhubarb bed, rhubarb's doing okay in there. Still quite small, I think it'll take, won't get anything off it this year, I don't think. But um, yeah, at least it's in there this year. Um, and the girls sowed some little purple flowers in here. So they're doing pretty well. Hopefully we'll get some nice flowers there. Beans, all sorts of different heights in here now because I've planted some from seed, some from plants I've grown at home at different stages. But there's a few bigger ones. Just looking forward to them. Courgettes, courgettes doing really well this year. Really happy with them down here this year. We struggled down, down here last year with them getting eaten. But uh, we seem to be doing well this year. That's good. No sign of any fruit yet, but uh, oh no, tell the light. There's a tiny little one on that one, so that won't be long. That's good. Um, and the pea bed, so we just covered it over tonight. This bed's the kids' bed, and it's from for pea shoots. So we uh, eat them when we're down here, and then any more we we take home for salads and things. And then the last bit is the um, potatoes. So I saved, these are all the saved seed ones from last year. Um, so it's a little bit patchy, there's a few that haven't come up. Probably about a third haven't come up. Um, but the King Edwards over here have done really well. So uh, happy with those, they're looking good. And over here are all the, uh, all the ones that self-set in other beds that we moved over. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll do okay. Hope you enjoyed having a little look around the plot. Planted a few more things out. Nice to keep getting things in the ground so we've got a bit of a succession of planting and uh, harvests. Hopefully these beans will do okay and uh, give us some nice green beans as the season goes on. Hope you're all keeping well and um, look forward to talking to you soon.